Hey guys, welcome to Paul's One on One powered by Shilmax. My name is Rachel M.M. Isaac and right now I am with the Big Brother Ninja Season 6 Shine Your Eye contestant, Peace. Hi, Chris. Hi. What's up, girl? Hi. My name's Say. I know. Looking pretty in <laughs> Thank you. We're pretty red too. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you fine. doing? Thank you. Exhausted, but mm. you know, I'll take it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of course. So now let's talk about the love since the eviction. How are you taking it all in? You know, um, obviously there's hate, but there's love. And the love is more, I swear. <laughs> like the, the love is more and I'm soaking it all in. I'm so thankful and grateful for people that genuinely actually support me and care for me. Um, the love is amazing. Like yes, it's more than be. what I actually expected. It's crazy. Like, yeah, but I'm, I'm just soaking it all in. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your time in the house. Did you have any strategy going into the house? Absolutely not. I was going to flop if I did. That's, <laughs> I'm being honest. Like you watch me in the house you know like i was just i was myself i was being sincere what you saw in the house that's looking at me outside mm -hmm. the only difference is well i'll probably not be as flirtatious if i have you know if i'm with someone however you know that's just me you know i don't know how to act mm -hmm. um well i can act in terms of a movie but <laughs> right. i mean this is your everyday life they expect you to live your reality and that's exactly what i was doing all right so i still remember when you won the first head of house game absolutely i remember your reaction how did that make you feel listen it's weird because i had a conversation with my friend mini um before i went on there and i said i was gonna win it I just felt I was gonna win the head of house, and I did. It's crazy. I hope like Big Brother had that, you know, clip when I was speak when I was speaking to her, and I said I feel like I'm actually gonna win the head of house, and I did. Okay. So like, I was excited. Mm -hmm. by the way. Speaking of which, you just mentioned Nini now, and it crossed my mind. Yeah. Um, I remember a few weeks back, um, what we would term one of the most controversial talks from the Big Brother Ninja okay. season six season. Yes. The talk you had with um, Nini and Maria regarding Angel, yeah. where you said demeaning things about Angel and yeah. all the things that were said. Do you want to you want to run Actually, us through what that I'm was about? I'm really glad you brought this up because I think it's a misconception. First okay. of all, I have to put it out there that I actually did rock with Angel, if you notice on Saturday night parties, and I still do. However, that conversation that was heard, that I think the clip that was put out there was, was put in such a way that if it made me look bad. Funny enough, that entire conversation didn't start from there. So there was a game that was being played in the house called the Whisper Game. I don't okay. know. Yes. So it started way before that, like, I think like days, or I don't know if it's even up to a week. And they asked someone a question. And that was the answer. I wouldn't say who, but they asked someone a question. Um, who would you pick? Who do you think has the, you know, smelliest, you know? He was going to pick someone. The smelliest or less, less, less sure. Oh, and okay. he was going to pick someone regardless. It's a game. Like, you have to pick. We're trying to make the house lively. Mm -hmm. And he picked someone. Fast forward, it was a whisper game. I was not even involved. I just happened to be one of the people that drank so they could hear who they picked. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't even involved. We went to executive lounge, someone brought it up. It wasn't even me. And it doesn't matter who brought it up really, but weren't even speaking about that. What was being spoken about was um, my friend, and he said, oh, she, she, cause we had an argument, well, not an argument, spoke about it based on she knows. I'm like, nobody would tell her. I don't think Angel knows. Like that's a crazy thing to actually say to her. That was what I said. So we spoke again. Um, spoke about it again in executive and she was like oh she knows i'm like that vagina thing the vagina and she was like yeah i think she's aware like she knows like she overheard him and the person um, angel and the person speaking about it and she was like ah why go choose me now so every other person they like they actually squashed it he cleared his end that it was just a game like she shouldn't take it, and she was fine with it so me i was like oh really so she knows so i was still like nah the vagina she doesn't know about it that was what that was about but the way it was played, it made it look like we're actually re like visiting that conversation. However, what we were visiting was the fact that she doesn't know about it. I was convinced she didn't know about it and no one would tell her, you know, it wasn't going to be me. And my friend was like, Maria was like, she, I mean, it was like, she knows. And Maria was like, she, she knows. And then I think other conversations came into play. Do you know what I mean? And I think the conversations that came into play was based on she and Jackie B and how, you know, yeah. but that particular scenario, I think it was a misconception. Okay. Yeah. That so was have just you tried the, explaining this misconception with Angel? No, I didn't try. No. Okay. I don't even know. Like, that's the funny thing. I didn't even know this was a conversation. I didn't even know this was an outburst or a thing until I came. I'm like, what? Like, where is this coming from? And 
they've dragged me. However, I actually didn't speak on this. I didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. And when it was revisited, you get, it was revisited based on she doesn't know and she knows. I thought she didn't know. That was it. Funny enough. It was nothing else apart from this. But then when I came out and the clips, I'm like, okay, because I did an interview and someone played it out for me. I'm like, okay, I need the full thing. Like, and another thing that made it even worse is I guess someone, but Maria came out and she did an interview. Like, by the way, I fuck with Maria. Well, excuse my language. I like I did if you noticed the last week we I felt well, I don't know about her, but I felt like we had some sort of friendship yeah, going on there. Yeah. But when she came out, I don't know if she didn't understand the question or she felt like there was an attack towards her. Or she diverted it because it was clearly a game none of us said it she didn't say it i didn't say it initially it was just a conversation a, okay. a game mm -hmm. and then when we spoke about it upstairs we spoke about it based on she knows or she doesn't know what well, i think the fact that she did that interview she made it look like it was me that started the conversation made it even worse for me mm -hmm. so yeah it was not even speaking about anything like i've never smelled angel vagina how am i supposed to know that it smells do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So it was obviously a misconception. Okay, so do you, you've seen clips, do you think that this affected your ratings with fans? Absolutely. Like once I came out, that was the first thing my team told me, like everyone went along with this. And my thing is, obviously the videos when I came into the executive line, when that conversation was started, was there. Why wasn't the entire thing out in the open? That was my thing. Like, why didn't we have the entire clip out in the open? But they just had the part where he said vagina, vagina. However, I was talking about the vagina thing, like, join me. I was trying to get the conversation. Like, mm -hmm, she doesn't know mm -hmm. or whatever. And then there were other conversations that, that came in place. Mm -hmm. But then the entire blame went to me. It's yeah. crazy because I actually don't know. Like, I was shocked. I was completely shocked. Mm -hmm. I can't even lie. Yeah. All right. So, um, I hope you have time to squash it with Angel and Maria. I, I didn't hope even that think happens. it was a problem. I still don't have any problems with Angel. Well, I mean, in terms of that, I don't. Like, I don't have any problems with Angel, but obviously I have my opinions based on everybody in the house, that's for sure. And I'm sure they do about me. But in terms of that, absolutely not. Like, what the hell? That was that came as a shocker. And given that it was actually what affected, you know, my ratings, I was like, wow, well, such is life. It's just what it is. You know? mm -hmm. I might not even get an opportunity to put my own part out yeah. there i was very fine with it but mm -hmm. what i did what i know was if that part of the of the clip is out in the open then the full clip is there all that's right that's just how i felt all right but regardless we move right we move. okay so this may not sound like it may not have seemed like a triangle but what was going on with sammy and michael today is sammy and michael tomorrow <laughs> is michael and cross <laughs> and i don't know how you guys are forgetting boomer <laughs> no, let's leave, let's leave Boba for now, no, no, right no. now. Um, We're all about Sammy well, and Michael. Sammy, Sammy expressed himself to me mm -hmm. on the second day of the show. Basically, on the first day, he was really a bit flirtatious. And I like Sammy. Sammy is a good guy. Like, he was one of the people, at least the guys, that genuinely looked out for me in terms of how I was doing, was ready to sacrifice a lot for me. Some of the things I obviously rejected, but, you know, I just, if you notice, I avoided a lot of things. I tried to avoid, like, I felt like him and Angel had something going on. And man, is that like, I like Sammy. At first, I wasn't attracted to Sammy. But one thing about me is people grow on me and I didn't have any intentions. And I told them like all the times we had our conversations, I told them I'm not going to have any ship with you or anybody in the house okay. because it's intentional. I don't want to. It's not that you're not good looking or anything or but we vibed, you know, that was with Sammy. It was just not going to happen. But I respect Sammy a lot and he mm -hmm. genuinely looked out for me and I thank okay. him for that genuinely. Then for Michael, me and Michael vibed. It is what it is. We vibed. Yeah. Am I attracted to the guy? Or was I attracted to the guy? Absolutely. I was attracted to Michael, to Cross, to Emmanuel. Physically, they're good looking. Absolutely. And then when we had conversations, it just like, you know, it was flowing. There was yeah. no hesitations or yeah. anything. The, the, like we just flowed, Michael and I. And even to an extent, Cross and I as well. So it was just, but I had no intentions of pursuing it or taking it okay. further. Apart from what, and trust me, looks is just what's on the surface. Yes, you need to and know what's And I don't know why within. people are so keen on looks. Mm -hmm. It's just what is on the surface. I would lie to you if I said I wasn't attracted to the people there. That's cap. You know it's a lie if mm -hmm. I said that. True. So I'm going to say the truth. I was. They're good looking men. But physical things, like looks is just the surface. It's like what? 10% at most 
there's a whole 90 percent on the on the nature sure. what we're we talking about i was attracted to michael there was a vibe there but i had no intentions of pursuing it okay. and it was what's the gag Jackie knew about this. Like we had that conversation, literally. Yeah, and she told remember, me, yeah, I don't know. I she told me, oh, yes. Michael said he's attracted to. I'm like, fine, like it's it's good, but that's what's on the surface. It's not even that deep. And mm -hmm. even if I'm attracted to him, it's just not really that deep. Then when it comes to flirting, I flirted with Michael. I'm just giving you the tea. I flirted mm -hmm. with Michael across mm -hmm. everyone in we, the we house. We saw we saw one of the nights when you were kissing him all over, like his my face. Kema, I was like, okay, leave my camera alone. No, no. What's I, going on? <laughs> I did that to cross though. Mm -hmm. So that's my problem is mm -hmm. because people want controversy so much, they skip cross. Yeah. And I did that as a matter of fact. I pecked cross in the lip like this, like he would peck me in the lip, and you know what I mean. But nobody is talking about it because mm. they want controversy. Mm. Uh, it's not here. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I did that to Cross. I did that to Michael. He's actually absolutely no big deal. Like, he's a good looking guy. Yeah. I can't take it away from him. Cross is that. a good looking guy. As a matter of fact, that. Cross got the, the, from the ladies, he got like the <laughs> most trains in terms of looks. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They're all good looking. All but right. I, I didn't have any intentions of pursuing it outside or further. When it comes to dancing, I have no limits. I dance with everyone. And I felt like, because I dance with, there's nobody I didn't dance with. Emmanuel, J. Paul, Cross. And when I mean dance, I mean, you see how I dance. Yes. I did it with all every single, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I did it with every single mm -hmm. body. Now tell me, the moment I start, I start um, isolating Michael, isn't it gonna, just not going to look weird? Yeah, it's then nice. everyone I will start that. thinking, do you know I mean? There was no point to isolate the guy. He's a good yeah. guy. It's a good time. There's no, it wasn't that deep for me. All it's right. A, yeah. So you talked it. about the guys that you liked in the house, the ones that you were attracted to. Let's talk about the guys that you did not vibe with. Who are those guys that you couldn't stand for whatever reason? There was absolutely nobody. Hmm. Okay. There was absolutely nobody. Like okay. in the entire, even with females, I, I think I had a good relationship with most people, but there were just people I was closer to. I vibed like, the part I miss the most about the house is everyone. Like, trust yes. me, they, literally what you see, they have good energy, everyone. Sure. Basically, I'm not even capping on, I'm trying to do things for, nah, they literally have good energy, you know, but they're just certain people and it's natural. You just gravitate towards certain people more than the rest and it's natural and that was just it. All right. So you said earlier that you liked Sammy a lot, but yeah. that you guys couldn't chase anything in the house. So seeing that both of you are out of the house now, are we going to be seeing some chasing and some shipping or maybe a relationship or anything serious? They sure she bad. <laughs> no, like, no. well, no, because there's someone actually before I go into that, there was a situation ship outside. Oh, okay. And I respect who I respect. I'm loyal to a fault. Um, absolutely, I st I'm still very good with who I'm with. Oh, but okay. Sammy is certainly my guy. If he wants to be my guy, if he wants to be friends with me. That, that See how your voice is just going down. I'm not feeling this energy. This voice, bring it up. Why are you talking about they, all that, guys? They. You'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's time for Sammy, yeah. you'll be like, I'm not so saying something. No, so Sammy, something. Sammy is my guy, but okay. he understands. All right. So who do you think is going to win this show? Who do I want to and who do who I... Who do you think is going to win? Well, from, from the stats I was like, I've seen and from what I've seen, two top contenders, uh, White Money and Liquor Rose. Hmm. Okay, so, why White Money and Liquor Rose? That's what I'm seeing outside. We've seen the stats. Like, it's not hidden. It's everywhere. Hmm. The stats are everywhere. All right. Fantastic. So if you had a chance to go back into the house to change something that you did, maybe do something differently, what would it be and why? Um, I don't have regrets, but I could add in terms of, well, normally I'm a relaxed person, I'm chilled. What you see on TV is me, I'm mostly chilled. It doesn't mean I'm in the background. I'm just a chilled babe, man. When my energy is needed, you guys see it is everywhere. When I am up, I'm up. Join me, I don't know how yeah. to explain it. Yeah. But when I'm chilled, I'm chilled. But I felt like people wanted more screen time for me. Mm -hmm. When I went out, like obviously I've heard from people and they wanted more screen time, they enjoyed um, see my face and they needed more screen time but I was sleeping most of the time I can't lie every yes, time after the gym yes. straight to the mm -hmm. garden I'm crashing after the garden I will sleep like three times in the day so I get that was harmful to my brand and yes. to me and just sharing so maybe I wouldn't sleep as much but I would I would get my nap because it's necessary to function but maybe I wouldn't sleep as much that would just be it Alrighty, thank you, Pierce. Thank All right, guys, you. let's quickly go to the fan zone powered by Showmax to know what her fans would like to know about her. So I have questions for you from your fans, oh. by the way. Alrighty, at Owolabi Israel11 on Twitter is asking Peace, who he said to ask Peace who will who 
she will like to have something with jesus yeah 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 that jesus <laughs> do you want me to read the question again <laughs> like who Pe in the house yeah ask peace who will she like to have something with yeah someone in the house i mean it depends on the thing he's, he's talking about a friendship obviously most of the people that i vibe with the house i would genuinely want a friendship if they want it outside but in terms of a relationship like i said there's something going on with me outside mm -hmm. so i'll pass Alrighty, and Lofthina underscore mine on Instagram is asking, why do you dislike Angel so much to the extent of saying nasty things about her in the executive lounge alongside Mimi and Maria? I don't dislike Angel. I can never dislike Angel. Like, she literally cracks me up. That conversation, I think there was a misconception. I definitely have my reservations about Angel. And I'm, I trust me, I know everyone loves Angel and I love Angel as well. But believe me, she has reservations about people and that's fine. But in terms of what you think, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't say like, I generally don't think that that's just crap. Mm -hmm. So you're wrong. I think you should do your research more. Get the full clip, maybe? Exactly. Try getting the full clip. I haven't said the list in the executive line. So it's crazy how people are coming for me. Hmm, that's all I'm saying. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Okay, at Pearl Jenny on Facebook says, ask Peace why she likes gossiping. Well, if telling my friend the gist in the house is gossiping, I guess I'm a gossip. Because I would, in real life, I would gist my friend stuff, like my close friends. And as you can see, I had close friends in the house, which was Nini and Aaron when she was around and I would tell them stuff because that's literally how I am in real life. I yeah. share stuff with the people close to me. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing my reality in the house. I share stuff with people close to me. And those were the people, they even called us the pop up girls and I love it. I love it because that's how I am in real life. Mm -hmm. I can't pretend. I would tell the people close to me what's going on. And that was exactly what it is. If that's what you call gossip, I guess I'm a gossip then. A gossip girl. Gossip. <laughs> Let's Gossip go. Girl in Pink. <laughs> Alrighty, at user 221199437 on TikTok says, Peace, how did you like, who did you like the most between Nini and Ari? Who was your crush in the Big Brother Ninja house? Love you, Peace. So two questions. Who did you like the most between Nini and Ari? Then the second question is, who was your crush in Big Brother's house? <laughs> That's set on field. I love my girls both equally. Nini and Ari means so much to me. That's just ridiculous to tell me who do I love the most. Are you joking? It's like saying, do you love Jesus or do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. I love That's it. I yeah. love both of them. Mm -hmm. They're amazing people. Who was my crush? I didn't have a crush. I definitely have had people I was attracted to, but I didn't have a crush. Hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Biz. I wish we could go Thank on and you. on with the questions, but let's just stop it there. All right, guys. That's how much we can take on the fan zone brought to you by Showmax. But before we go, yeah. we have something for you from our sponsors. We have let's a go. hoodie and a voucher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Yeah. So there's a note on Thank the voucher you, that was written specially for you. We'd Thank like you to read that out. Okay. Let's go. This is the unwrapping. I love it. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. You're welcome. Thank you. First of all, I got a hoodie. I got a hoodie. I love it. Thank you, Sherma. You're welcome, Peace. Um, your darling Peace. You are amazing. Now enjoy more of what's like you. As you exit the Big Brother house, enter a world of endless entertainment with Showmax. Absolutely, Showmax. And once again, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So now that you're out of the house, what's next for you? Okay, let's talk about that. First of all, I have a brand called Burak. Burak. Initially, it was a fashion brand, still is. But we have Borak and Borak Kids. That's B W R A Q official on Instagram and Borak Kids, the same thing on um, Borak Kids. That's the kids line. Yeah. Well, is everything inclusive? Fashion, accessory, homeware. But for now, it's fashion. Watch out for Borak shorts coming in very soon. Then, obviously, you know your girl can sing. I've, well, I've always been in love with music. You know, clearly you could tell with the Pepsi tart. Well, sorry, you could clear with the tart. But then I can sing and I definitely want to go into music. I've gotten a lot of encouragement to do that. So I'll definitely look at that. Mm -hmm. Then we have acting. And obviously I used to be a TV presenter. Nice. So best believe your girl is hosting red carpets, events and so much more. Obviously working with brands as well. Just let's keep it going. I'm multi-talented and this is no cap. I'm not even trying mm -hmm. to blow my mm -hmm. trumpet. It's just what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to... Um, 
tell you to sing right now, but no. the spirit is pushing me in that direction. <laughs> but I am saying, let me just leave it. Let just me leave help it be. Me, help yeah, my, let me my let me leave it be. Yes, because you sound tired. Yeah, yeah you should rest. Alright, do right you have any message for your fans? Uh, the A's gang. The A's gang, you guys are amazing. Like the support is so surreal. I appreciate you guys so much. It's peace out here. Thank you for riding with me. It's still little peace, whatever. It's still me, I swear to God. And I appreciate you guys so much. You've been doing wonderful for me. And you know, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, keep rocking with me. It's either you rock for peace or it's peace out. You know what it is. Peace out. <laughs> That's what's up. Peace out. Thank you, please, for Thank hanging you. out with us today. All right, guys, don't forget you can send all your questions to us on all of our social media platforms at Pulse Nigeria 247. You can also watch Big Brother Niger show live on your Showmax app, on your phone, and online, both in Nigeria and in the UK. And catch the buzz with Tokyo Makinwa for all the Big Brother Niger inside scoop you won't find anywhere else. This has been Pulse One on One brought to you by Showmax. My name is Rachel. Until next time, bye, guys.